Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Uh, sitting there listening to the brothers, you know, I had a, a lesson, you know, I had put together through the Spirit. You know, Lord will, it's edifying um, and it comforts uh, you hopeful members of the elect out there. Um, but before I get into it, as always, I want to give all praise to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Hodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutation and blessings to all the hopeful members of the elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the earth, that believe wholeheartedly in the true doctrine that's being pushed, all right, throughout the four winds of the earth, who also are in hope of mercy and salvation during the time of Jacob's trouble, as well as when Yahweh Shai returns to the planet Earth, okay? Um, I haven't quite yet uh, pinpointed the title, but uh, I think I'm gonna, um, some to the effect in uh, the book of Sirach uh, 25 and 10, um, which I'm gonna read, of course, or Ecclesiasticus uh, chapter 25, verse 10, um, dealing with us believers, all right, beginning with the elect, the men of the elect, the 144,000, and the rest of the one third, all right. Ain't nobody um, higher than us on this planet, all right. You know, you see everything that's going on with um, this whole war that done jumped off in Israel. Um, all these things are happening for our sakes, all right? Everything that's happening on the planet Earth is for the sake of Israel, beginning with the elect, okay? See, these devils, these heathens, all right, they truly believe that um, they're getting ready to uh, rule, all right? Whether Esau think he gonna come out on top or whether these heathens, whether it be Ishmael, you know, the Muslims, whether it be Moab, all these nations, all right? They truly think that um, they're getting ready to come out on top. You had this Muslim uh, one of the Hamas leaders, he declared uh, Friday the 13th, which is tomorrow, uh, a day of, uh, 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 what do you call it, a jihad, all right, around the world, which, you know, they're trying to provoke uh, and, and put fear out there um, with this holy war. Uh, that's getting ready to take place on the earth. And you got the patriots reacting. You got um, false prophets all on all type of social medias that's going into the Bible. Um, you know, and you can see that people are, uh, they in panic, all right? They in panic mode because truly indeed they don't have Yahweh Shai within them, all right? And this is why I want to, uh, Reiterate, no matter of fact, I'm going to start off reading that. Ecclesiasticus chapter 25, verse 10, all right? Because what's getting ready to come on the planet Earth is, is for these people out here. The judgment is for these people, all right? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is with us, and he loves us, all right? He loves his elect, man, and, you know, I hope and pray that I'm one of those men as well as the rest of you brothers out there and you sisters, all right? I'm talking about the, the, the sincere, uh, true believers, man, okay? Because we're getting ready to see a whole lot of death, all right? A whole lot of uh, bloodshed, you know, it's, it's, it's getting ready to be wartime out here, all right? But these scriptures, all right? You know, this is the Apocrypha. You know, I got my red one, but it's, it ain't red no more. It's just paper. But these holy scriptures, all right, the Holy Bible is what gives us the comfort and what's going to keep us 
uh, with a sound mind when these things jump off because they will jump off. We just don't know exactly when. We, we've had the warnings from the scriptures, all right? And we most definitely see the time that we're living in, all right? In the time that we're living in, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai uh, foretold and warned us about, okay? So without any further ado, um, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus or Sirach chapter 25 and um, verse 10, all right? It says, oh, how great is he that findeth wisdom, exclamation point, because we know and understand what is wisdom, all right? Let's get that real quick before I continue in that scripture. Okay. Um, go to the book of Proverbs, the eighth chapter. All right. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go to, and I don't even, I didn't even have these scriptures written down that's coming to me right now. So call Allah Yahweh by Shem Um Let's we're gonna go to Proverbs. Uh, 4 and 7. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7. It says wisdom is the principal thing. Okay? That's why we just read in Ecclesiasticus. Um, let me get that again. Ecclesiasticus 25 10 line 1. It says, oh how great is he that findeth wisdom. Alright? Now it says Proverbs 4 and 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. All right? Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou doest embrace her. All right? Now, we know wisdom is referred to as a woman. All right? In the scriptures. All right? The Most High refers to wisdom as a woman. Uh, us brothers here like to call it Sophia, you know, because that's the Greek way of saying wisdom, okay? It's a woman's name. Um, right after that, let's go to the book of Proverbs, the eighth chapter, okay? Because ultimately, wisdom is Yahweh Shai, okay? Um, Proverbs chapter 8. And we're going to start. Uh, I'll start at the top. All right. It says, Does not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice? She standeth in the top of the high places. By the way, in the places of, of the paths. She crieth at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in at the doors. Unto you, O men, I call. My voice is to the sons of men. O ye simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. Here I will speak of excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things and that's what the that's what these scriptures have taught us all right we've learned excellent things and we've learned the right thing through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemal raising up men before us to teach us and then we take the torch so to speak and the Lord starts to sup with us on our own all right um let me get to this point. Okay. I'm going to start, go jump down to 11. It says, For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. And that's especially in the time that we're coming into, man. Isaiah 33 and 6. For wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, all right? And strength of salvation 
the fear of the Lord is his treasure. All right. And I'm going to read that too. I'm going to go back to that because it lines up with the second line in uh, Sirach 25 and 10. All right. So this wisdom that the Lord has bestowed upon us, has given us, has opened up our minds to. This is what's going to bring us from here, the bottom, and it's going to supersede over everything. All right. This is the time the Lord is getting ready to, 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 to uh, promote us to where we supposed to be. All right. Of course, we're going to have to go through our trials and our uh, tribulations. But as long as you're moving in the spirit of uh, wisdom and the fear of the Lord, it's, 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 the Lord is going to keep you. All right. So you don't have to worry about it. You know, and of course, yeah, it's easier said than done. But we getting we getting ready to it's finna be game time. Alright? Everything that we've uh been prophesying about, everything that we've been hastening is is right here at the door. Okay? Right here at the door. Alright? And trust and believe you me. Esau eat them. I'm talking about the elite of them. They're more afraid than 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 we should be. We shouldn't even be afraid. Alright? Yeah, you should you know, get nervous and things of that nature. You know, you get the, you know, you, it's an anxious feeling. It's not fear, okay? Because you know and you believe that the Lord is with you, man. All right? Because wisdom is dwelling within you. Um, verse 12, it says, I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy, and the evil way, and the forward mouth do I hate, all right? So, going back to Ecclesiastes 25 and 10, okay, let's go back there. It says, oh, how great is he that findeth wisdom, all right? And ultimately, you find in Yahweh Shai, all right? And the way you found them was the highways of the information, either by way of YouTube. You seen the uh, the Israelites out there, or you actually walk by, all right? Because wisdom is in the streets, in the gates, all right. And it's 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 coming off of men whom Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has chosen to teach this word, all right. So gr how great is he? Oh, how great is he that findeth wisdom. Yet is there none above him that feareth the Lord. So we the cream of the crop, Lord will, to the end. All right? If you moving in sincerity in the fear of the Lord, we're the cream of the crop, man. All right? There's no man on this earth above the men of the Lord. All right? And it don't seem like that now, but that's fine. All right? That is totally fine because the Lord has us in perfect position for when he's going to really use us, he's going to put us out there, all right? He's going to put us out there and show the world, all right, that he sent his prophets, that he sent his men to, to, for you to hearken to, talking to you Israelites, but you, 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 you fanned your hand and you pushed them away, and that's going to be to your own detriment. There is no man above him that feareth the Lord, man. And I'm talking about Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, not no Ahia, not Jehovah, not God. We talking about the true living power, all right? Not these new names that these uh, bug out fallouts are, are coming up with, all right? There is no one above him that feareth the Lord. And the Lord is going to uh, 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 take care of you, you and your family. All right? Now, after that scripture, let's go to uh, Wisdom of Solomon. All right? Wisdom of Solomon, the seventh chapter, in the 28th verse, it says this. It says, For the Most High loveth none but him that dwelleth with wisdom, for she is more beautiful than the sun and above all the order of the stars, being compared with the light 
she is found before it. All right. <clears throat> For after this cometh night, but vice shall not prevail against wisdom. So everything that these devils is doing, the psyops, they're bringing in all these UN and different type of troops to come after the Israelites, it's not going to work because it's written, all right? The Lord, the Lord is all about dramatics and he's going to do this thing very dramatic. And those that dwell with wisdom and moving in the fear of the Lord, ain't nothing going to happen to you, man. The Lord is going to make sure that. The Lord is going to keep your children. All right? As long as you continue to move in the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, man, the Lord is going to, man, you know, when we read about certain things in these scriptures, the spiritual power, the miracles, you know, our forefathers that were delivered out of uh, lion's dens, out of, out of the fiery furnace, out of the hand of the enemy, King David, all right, being delivered from his enemies, all right? This is the type of power that's getting ready to be exhibited back in the earth. It ain't been seen in over 2,000 years, man, all right? It ain't been seen in over 2,000 years, but the Lord is getting ready to make do. It's, it's just about that time through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Shai, man. We weren't put here to get to be judged with the rest of these people, all right? We were put here to obtain salvation from our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, man, all right? So it's nothing, it's nothing to fear, nothing to, nothing to worry about, man. The Lord got us, man. Let's go to the book of Psalms, the fourth chapter, you know? I'm, I'm, I, ain't, I haven't been excited like this in a long time, man. You know, of course, we get excited when things happen, prophecy-wise. You know, the last time I was excited like this was March of 2020, okay? Because we thought it was over with. It's on, you know? But the Lord had us wait a whole three years and some change. Could be four years and some change. Four years. But we right here, man. We right here at the door. The, the, that, those, those, uh so-called J-E-Ws are over there wreaking havoc in uh, uh, the Gaza Strip on the Palestinians, all right? And, and, and that's going to bring all the nations out. You see all the nations are responding. You got Turkey saying, don't get involved to America, all right? You got all those Muslim nations saying, don't get involved. You got uh, uh, Muslims saying, if they don't stop bombing Gaza, we're going to cut gas off to the whole world. All right? Russia's on the standby. China's on the standby to see where this thing is going to go. They wait. America's sending uh, naval warships. All right? Positioning them. Just like the prophecy state, man. The Most High is making this thing go for us. We ain't got nothing to worry. We're the underdog. We're the true underdogs, man. And the Most High is with the underdogs, all right? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 4, and um, verse 3. It says, but no, well, let me see. Yeah, I'm going to just go straight to the point. Verse 3, Psalms chapter 4, verse 3. It says, but know that the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, have set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. See, the Lord set us apart from there. That's why, you know, we don't we don't jail with the rest of the world. All right, you don't see us in a in a frenzy because these these heathens is talking about the, the day of jihad and we ain't worried about none of that, man. All right. It's because the Lord is with us, man. You know, these Americans are worried about it. These patriots are worried about it. You know, Jake that's caught up in this bullshit society that think that they American. They, they worried about it. They worried about defending America, man. We worried about Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. That's it. And him defending us. 
while America goes to shit right before our eyes because that's what's going to happen. All right? The Most High sending the Northern Army, sending them out, out there, man. They finna go to war. All right? These militias and these patriots are telling you to get ready and this, that, and the third. So the, the, the spirit of war is in the air. Uh, Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. A time of war. We in that time. And at the same time, the Lord is going to keep us in that time, man. All right? We're going to be kept when this thing jumps off. Some of us may get uh, grabbed up and, and, and tossed in concentration camps and beheaded, but that'll be to, that'll be a glorious death for Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. All right? They're not going to get all of us, okay? Because the Lord is going to send Michael, uh, uh, Daniel the 12th chapter. Michael going to stand up for the elect, all right? Uh, the Most High is going to raise up uh, uh, saviors, men with spiritual power, all right? To, to deal with this damn devil and these heathens over here that think they finna do some shit, you know? <clears throat> so going back, it says, Psalms 4 and 3, it says, But know that the Lord have set apart him that is godly for himself. So we've been set apart from the beginning of the foundations of the earth. All right? We're cut from a different cloth, literally. All right? You know, Jake say that in the world, but they really ain't cut from that, from that different cloth. The elect are the ones that's cut from a different cloth, man. Okay? The elect was handpicked by Yahweh himself. And given to his son, Yahweh Shai. These are your men. Y'all going to make things happen when the time comes. These are your prophets. These are your followers. All right. These are those that's going to believe in you. Okay. And that was set up before the foundation of the earth even was uh, laid. All right. But now here we are. Uh. We've gone through the whole process of the Heavenly Father's mind that he put inside this Bible in history, all right? And we're at the end to where our Lord and Savior is getting ready to be revealed out here, all right? The true men of the Lord are getting ready to be revealed out here, all right? Um, it says, the Lord will hear when I call unto him. So when these times come, the Lord going to hear us, man. All right, from there, we're going to go to uh, Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 2. Here we go. 2 Timothy chapter 2, uh, verse 19. The key point is the uh, second line. It says, nevertheless, the foundation of the Most High standeth sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. All right? The Lord know who his is, man. And the Lord ain't going to allow nothing to happen to you. All right? What does it say in Wisdom of Solomon? The, uh, let me get that real quick. Damn. Page is jumping out. We'll come back to that. Wisdom of Solomon, the uh, Shalakia. Okay, it's the first book. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, all right? Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 1, it says, But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High. So the Lord know who his is, all right? And you got to have that confidence in the Lord, man. All right? You have to have that in these times. But you can't come into this. You can't come into the going into Jacob's trouble with uh, the spirit of doubt on you. We read about that in 2nd Ezra's, man. The Lord said, neither ye doubt. All right? You ain't supposed to doubt. Matter of fact, let me hold that one on deck. 2nd Ezra 16. And um, let's 
75. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your God, guide, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord, saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves, all right? So the point being is, be ye not afraid, neither doubt. Remember, going back, there is none above him that feareth the Lord. All right. Whatever type of encounter the Lord puts in your way, remember that, man. You fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh You don't fear no no man. You don't fear no Muslim. You don't fear no goddamn Edomite. You don't fear no concentration camp. You don't fear no guillotine. None of that shit. You don't fear wild beasts. All right. You don't fear uh, uh, these these frequency weapons. None of it because. Your confidence is in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right? So going back to uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3, verse 1. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High, and there shall no torment touch them. Okay? The Lord knoweth who, he, who, who is his. Okay? Back in Timothy 2 and 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of the Most High stand of sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that nameth the name of Yahweh Hamashiach depart from iniquity, man. And this is this is our whole walk. Alright? To try to walk as perfect as our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai did, man. Okay. Now, from that scripture, let's go to the book of Nahum, the first chapter. This is the book of Nahum, chapter 1, uh, verse 6, and I'm going to read to the 8th verse. It says, who can stand before his indignation? And who can abide in the fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire, and the rocks are thrown down by him. It says, the Lord is good. A stronghold in the day of trouble okay and that's the time we coming into behold the days of trouble are at hand but I will deliver you from the same so our Lord the true uh, uh, power of heaven and earth whose name is Yahweh and his son's name is Yahweh Shai that's our stronghold in the day that that we're getting ready to approach in the in the time of trouble he's uh, the time of Jacob's trouble all right we just going to see a lot of shit. But the Lord is going to get us through everything, man. Okay? It says, The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. Okay? Most I know you. He not going to allow you to get fucked up out here, man. Y'all remember me and uh, one of the brothers, the brother... Uh, Ariyada, Ariyada, all right. Uh, when we was learning about these uh, these these weapons that this man got, you know, the radiation weapons and the ionizing radiation and all this shit, we we look we we looked at him like, man, the Lord ain't gonna let us get fucked up out here. What what can we do against uh, uh, towers that emit? Uh, uh, beams that that uh, uh, destroy life on a cellular level without you even seeing it. You know, uh, weapons that that are suck the oxygen right from the atmosphere you're in. All right, that'll cause you to choke to death. See, the Lord, the Lord know who His is, and He's not going to allow that to happen to you. All right. 
We just read in Wisdom of Solomon, ain't no, ain't no torment going to touch us. See, those are tormental deaths. All right? Getting beheaded got to be quick. And the Lord could take your spirit before that. All right? Not even give Esau the pleasure of, uh, you know, seeing your spirit leave your body. The Lord can take it before that guillotine hits your neck. And you, you won't feel anything. You'll be in the spirit world waiting to come back down to put these damn devils in chains, man. And these heathens. Okay? So again, verse 7 in the book of Nahum 1 and 7, it says, The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. And he knoweth them that trust in him. But with an overrunning flood, he will make an utter end of the place thereof, and darkness shall pursue his enemies. And we're not enemies of the Lord. All right? You dwelling with wisdom, the scriptures tell you that the Lord make of you uh, uh, friends and prophets. Let me get that in Wisdom of Solomon real quick. Okay, because it says wisdom entereth into holy souls. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start at uh I'm gonna start at um twenty-five. Wisdom of Solomon seven twenty-five, key point is the uh Glasses, man. I'm gonna start at 25. Key point is down in here. All right. It says, For she is the breath of the power of the Most High and a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Therefore, can no defiled thing fall into her, for she is the brightness of the everlasting light, the unspotted mirror of the power of God, and the image of his goodness. All right, and we already established who that is. That's Yahweh Shah. All right, and that's who we who we mimicking on the planet Earth to the best of our ability. All right, because he was the only one that did it correct, one hundred percent correctly, did not sin, and he sacrificed himself so that we can be adopted back to our Father, man. All right, verse twenty-seven. For being but one, she can do all things, and remaining in herself, she maketh all things new. This is the point here. And in all ages, entering into holy souls, she maketh them friends of God and prophets. So we're not the enemies if we're, if we're dwelling with wisdom. Okay? The enemies are these heathens, Edom, Edomites, and two-thirds of the nation of Israel. They're the enemies right now. All right? But we're, Lord will, to the end, are friends to the Heavenly Father through His Son, Yahweh Shai, and prophets that He has risen up in these last days. All right? It tells us in the book of Micah, it says, Unto you, O flock, shall come the first dominion. All right? O tower of the flock, should I say. All right? The tower of the flock represents the prophets, the 144,000. All right? That first dominion is coming to us. Lord will be a part of that number, man. The Lord know. The Lord got us, man. You know, you got to walk around with that sense of Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai has me. All right? We not moving in the spirit of fear. We not moving in the spirit of doubt, man. Okay? We, we waiting for this Jacob's trouble to jump off so we can attack it head first. Fuck it. We here, man. This is what we've been building our faith up for. All right? It's about to be put on display. Okay? It tells us in the book of Corinthians, every man's work shall be tried in that day, whether it be of wood, hay, or stubble, or precious stones. Okay? There's a lot of you Israelite groups out there. You're going to find out that you, you ain't nothing but uh, stubble and, and wood. Because you're going to burn up when this shit get real out here. 
okay? Because it's on the verge of getting briller than real. Okay, I got a couple more scriptures and I'll let you go. Let's go back to the book of Psalms. Psalms chapter 5. And there's, there were so many scriptures that I, you know, I had came across. I just picked out a few, you know, that 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 um, that hit home. This is the book of Psalms, chapter five. We're gonna start at verse eight. It says, "Lead me, O Lord, in Thy righteousness, because of mine enemies." All right, you see what what our enemy out here trying to do? He didn't turn half of the. Uh, the damn population of the earth into a weapon, into a scare tactic for when he get ready to, you know, do his little uh, frequency joint. He didn't, uh, he didn't set up all these snares out here. He didn't blew up factories for food. He didn't rose the prices on everything. All right, the, 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 the gasoline. He making it real hard out here for us to survive. But guess what? We survived. All right? The Lord got us. All right? The Lord has us. We surviving in these terrible-ass times to where it's like, uh, sometimes I'll be looking, I'll be like, man, I don't even know how I'm getting how I'm getting by, but the Lord is getting me by, man. You know? Gas, uh, $7 here in California, man. Just about 7 You go down, you go to the, you know, the inner city, you know what I'm saying? You paying seven dollars, but outside of the city, you six dollars and some change, six on the dot. All right. You go to the grocery store, you take a hundred dollars in there. You got to spend it wisely, okay? Because it's 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 that bad out here, man. But the Lord still got us. The Lord got us, and He's leading us because of our enemies, man. All right. This devil been setting snares since before we were born to try to stop what 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 has uh become of this of this word, all right? He tried to stop this, but he couldn't. What you think he was giving you all the J A B's going back whether you was born in the, uh, the 80s, the 90s, all right? The immunization that was all to try to stop the elect from uh coming to this point but he couldn't do it he set up all the prisons the drugs the prostitution the gangster shit the thugs the homo shit you know he did all that to try to stop us as a uh, uh as the elect coming back to our power yahweh through his son yahweh shai and it didn't work so what he's getting ready to do ain't going to work either. All right? We have what's written. We know the end outcome. All right? And we moving in that spirit. Okay? So going back, Psalms uh, 5 and 8. Lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness because of mine enemies. Make thy way straight before me, before my face. For there is no faithfulness in their mouth, their inward part is very wickedness. Their throat is an open sepulcher that they flatter with their tongue. And what they've been talking, you will own nothing and be happy. They talking about putting you on uh, UBI. They taking away, uh, uh, they're going to take away all physical money. All right. I didn't already mention they blew up food factories, okay? They trying to corner us in, all right? Because it's all about the elect. The other rest of the people don't worry about them. They gonna, they gonna get what they, they just deserts, all right? Talking about the vibe people, two thirds, because they didn't want to repent, all right? But for the elect, we ain't got nothing to worry about, man. The Lord got us, all right? Verse 10. It says, destroy thou them, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions. 
for they have re rebelled against thee. But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy because thou defendest them. All right? And the Lord is going to defend us something serious, man. Your faith finna go from, uh, your faith finna be on 10 or a, 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 a whole solid thou wow. The whole time Jacob's trouble was going to be uh, out here, man. Because the Lord is going to be making things happen for you. And you ain't going to have no choice but to be on a whole thou wow with your faith and praising the names of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Just think about our forefathers, the three holy children, uh, uh, Azariah, Mishael, and uh, 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 damn, who was the third one? I always forget one. I believe it's Ananiah. Azariah, Mishael, matter of fact, I got to get them names. I don't want to, real quick, I'm going to get them names, man. Okay. Which the world knows them as Rashak, Meshach, and Abednego. All right? But they were Hebrews and they had Hebrew names. Okay. Yeah, I really need some glasses. These words be looking damn near blurry. You know what? Let me look it up here. I gotta get those names. Azariah, Mishael, and um Bear with me a hot second. Bear with me. Okay, here we go. Okay, that was it. It's not uh, 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 Ananiah, but Hananiah. Hananiah, Misha, Mishael, and Azariah. All right, Daniel, the first chapter. It gives you uh, their names. Daniel, the second chapter. All right. These are the three holy children that were uh, cast in the fiery furnace. And when they were delivered, they all they did was praise praise Yahweh by Shemiah Shai that they weren't consumed in that fire. All right. King David. All right. Second Samuel 22. A bunch of the Psalms. The, uh, King David praised the Most High for, for uh, delivering him out of the hand of our enemies and many more of our forefathers, man. Okay, we don't have, the Lord is going to take care of us, man, all right? I'm going to read that again in Psalms chapter 5, verse 11. It says, but let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor, would thou compass him as with the shield? Now, that just prompted me to go to the book of Revelation, the third chapter in my mind, and get this, okay? Because we we about to enter this time or this hour of temptation, this season of trial, all right? But we just read in, 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 in uh, Psalms, the fifth chapter, we ain't got nothing to worry about, man. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 10. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. All right. And when you look up that word keep, it means the Greek word is terio. And it, it means to defend all right, to keep in, in, in the same state, uh, uh, to show favor. And that's what we just read in Psalms, where it says, with favor wilt thou compass him as with the shield. We're going to be defended, protected. All right, that hedge, 
that we read about in Psalms, the 34th chapter, 7th verse. All right? That heads that was about Job. Okay? The Lord is going to keep us and defend us in these times, man. Because why? There is none above him that feareth the Lord. The Lord only care about those that dwell with wisdom. He only love us. All right? Lord will to the end. Okay? All right, from there, let's get a couple more of these scriptures, and then we'll close it out. Um, let's go to Psalms 87, the book of Psalms 87. And this is what the Psalms are written for, man. These, these Psalms comfort you, all right? Give you that comfort, all right? Psalms 87 and 2, the Lord loveth the gates of Zion. More than all the dwellings of Jacob. Now, the gates of Zion represent uh, the leaders, all right? And the leaders of Zion, all right, is the tribe of Judah, okay? But who are the gates in this time that we, oh, of course, uh, the leaders are the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the gates. And, of course, the tribe of Judah, all right? But the, 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 the whole elect, the prophets, matter of fact, in the Apocrypha, it tells you whom the Most High have gave us for leaders. Let's go there real quick. That's in uh, the book of Ezra. Bear with me. I, I got to find it. I'm recording. Matter of fact, I can pull it up here. Brothers probably already know where I'm going. There it is. Second Ezra, the first chapter. Got it. Second Ezra, chapter 1, verse 39. It says, Unto whom I will give for leaders Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Hosea, Amos, Micah, Joel, Obadiah, Jonas, Nahum, and Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi, which is called also the angel of the Lord. So who are the leaders? The prophets. Where are the prophets set up in the city? The opening of the gates. All right. So going back to Psalms, let's read that. Psalms chapter 87, verse 2. It says... The Lord loveth the gates of Zion, all right, more than all the dwellings of Jacob. So the Lord loved the prophets, man, all right? The Lord loveth none but he that dwelleth with wisdom, okay? So from there, get a, two more scriptures. We're going to go to... The 145th Psalm, and then we're going to go to Isaiah 63, and that'll be it. All right. This is Psalms 145 and 20. Okay. It says, Matter of fact, I got to start up a bit. I'm going to start at um, verse 18, all right? 18 through 20, Psalms 145. It says, The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, 
to all that call upon him in truth, okay? He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him, okay? Remember, there is none above him that feareth the most high, all right? I don't give a damn how much money these niggas think they got. We fear the Lord, so the Lord ain't nobody above us, all right? It says, he will fulfill the, the I'm sorry, yeah, 19. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. All right. The Lord preserveth all them that love him, but all the wicked will he destroy. So, again, we ain't got nothing to worry about. The Lord is going to make sure that we good out here. He's going to fulfill the desire of him that feareth him. All right. You, you got a desire that you and your family going to make it. The Lord going to fulfill that for you. All right. You may not see your children as much. They may live in another city. All right. And you praying for them. And the Lord know that you love your children. You love, you know, you don't want no harm to come to them. And the Lord is going to fulfill that desire for you, man. All right. Because why? You fear him. Okay, and there is none above him that feareth the Most High, man. The Most High gonna make sure he take care of you. It's written. Okay, we just gotta attack this thing head on and 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 stand in great boldness in the name of Yahweh Bashem Shai, man. As we already have been doing. Okay. Um. I'm going to read verse uh, 20 again. It says, The Lord preserveth all them that love him, but all the wicked will he destroy. Okay? So, we looking to be preserved out here because it's written. All right? And that's how we move. And if you ain't moving like that, you better be, you better get to moving like that, man. Okay? You got to, the Lord wants you sure, like we read in 2 Timothy earlier. The foundation of the Lord standeth sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth who is his. Okay? Ain't no mix-up, no uh, if, ands, or buts with the elect. That's why the scriptures say the righteous are as bold as lions, man. Okay? Last scripture, and I'm going to close it out. Uh, Isaiah chapter 63 Verses 7 through 9. Okay. It says. And the, the heading of these. Of these scriptures. Is prayer of the remnant. All right. So Isaiah chapter. Uh, uh, 63 verse 7. It says. I will mention the loving kindness of the Lord. And the praises of the Lord. According to all that the Lord. Have bestowed on us. And the great goodness toward the house of Israel, which he have bestowed on them according to his mercies and according to the multitude of his loving kindness. For he said, surely they are my people, children that will not lie. So he was their savior. In all their affliction, he was afflicted. And the angel of his presence Save them, okay. So it's it's plenty of scriptures that that's going that that should keep you comforted in these times, man. To where your your faith is should be on a whole ten, a thou wow out here, man. A whole thousand, a hundred and forty four thousand. That's where your faith should be, all right. And if you have to suffer the fate of laying your life down, so be it, okay. So be it, man, because you're going to be risen first, and that's a glorious death, all right? It says, in his love and in his pity, he redeemed them, and he bare them and carried them all the days of old. And we know the days of old are what? 
the things that are written before time. Let me get that and then I'll close it. get that. So all these scriptures that we read and we go over, the prophecies, these things are written for our learning. Just as the Lord saved holy men and his people by the hand of holy men in the days of old, he's getting ready to do it again. And it's going to be it's going to be miraculous. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to you can't put words to it because we haven't seen this type of power in over 2,000 years, man. Okay? Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. All right? And this is where our hope lies. I hope don't lie in, you know, like these patriots with the guns and getting ready and all. We've been ready, all right? We ready in the spirit, okay? And you can't get no more ready than the, uh, the, the, the elect, okay? The heavenly father is going to keep us. And again, uh, Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge. I'm going to read that because I don't want to miss none, all right? All this wisdom that the Lord has given us, all right, in these times that we've uh, accumulated is getting ready to show, all right? It's getting ready to show, all right? Because the Lord is going to show that he loves you and the, and the people are going to see that the Lord is with you, all right? Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Remember, there is no one above him that feared the Lord. So with that, man, I pray that this was edifying and comforting to the hopeful elect, giving all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechah and double honors to all the hopeful elect, the 144,000 and the one-third of the nation of Israel out there. Stay prayed up, keep the faith, and stay strong. Shalom.